A few people have asked why a company called Small HD would start making fairly large monitors, but actually most of our customers have asked us why haven't we made them yet? Because they love our small monitors so much. They've said, I need a 17 or I need a 24. And so it's just taken us some time to kind of look at that industry and that whole market because it's such a big departure from what we're used to and develop something that we feel is revolutionary in that space and we've, we've finally done that. We went out to the field did a bunch of studying on all the other monitors that people are using the popular ones that we all know about and uh, what we saw was a lot of plastic and bent sheet metal on all these monitors and what we did in traditional small HD style was we milled the monitors just like we normally try to do on all of our other field monitors because milling you can just do things with it that you can't do with any other process. Durability of our products is obviously a, a critical issue for us. Um, we want to see them last in the field because you know these things end up all over the world in really remote locations and the last thing anybody wants is for their gear to go down. So we try to build products that are going to last. Because we, we were milling this thing um, to get the aforementioned durability, what we also were able to do is put this really cool rail system in the back and we made these really cool toolless adapters now that basically the back of the monitor is a canvas for you to do whatever you want in a really solid mechanical fashion so without anything without any tool you can just loosen this thing slide it on the rail lock it down bolt the tear deck to it we really tried to think through from end to end the, the the user experience of the process of using a large display. Um, so many of them are, are driven by wireless systems now. So being able to have a wireless system on the back of the monitor, powered by the monitor, and be able to stay on it when you drop it into the case is kind of a convenient thing. We've already shown a pretty core competency with high brighting displays, making them visible outside. Um, and we wanted to carry that over into this, in this side of the industry because I think it was something that was really, really needed. Uh, it's just it's surprising how few options there were if you wanted something that you could see without a sunhead outside in, in the larger 17 plus inch size ranges. We've provided displays that are incredibly bright compared to all other offerings and in addition to that this HDR high, high dynamic range technology is on on the horizon and more and more people are, are shooting in that format. So with a bright monitor we can also use our, our LUT engine to provide a true HDR preview right there when you're filming your shot. If you want a monitor that you're just going to be able to pull out of the box, see wherever you are, not have to use tape on, have an amazing user experience with with you know framing your shot and making sure you can you know if you want HDR preview you can do that. If you want amazing color accuracy with our self color calibration system that we have in there, um, if you want to not be fiddling around with things and look and looking kind of ridiculous on set. Um, you're going to have to go to your rental house or go to wherever you buy your equipment and say, can you please stock small HD because we, because otherwise it's going to take some time um, for it to find its way into the, into the world. Just like with most of our products, you really do need to see it to understand how awesome it looks. So I would just say go bug your local rental house or your, your favorite reseller and tell them to get these products in their shop so you can come in and look at them. They really are spectacular and you'll want to use them on your next shoot.